North East England has built world-class clusters in healthcare and life sciences. A network of relationships between centres of excellence in science, higher education, clinical practice and expert manufacture that provide a dynamic environment for business growth. Cono Stem has created major commercial opportunities by using adult stem cell-derived technology to create 3D models of human organs to speed up the development of new therapies. Dr. Colin McGuckin and Dr. Nico Foraz made headlines around the globe when they grew the world's first artificial liver from stem cells. The North East has invested £10 million pounds in setting up a brand new stem cell institute here in the North East and that's helping businesses work more closely with the university and the health system. There are so many graduates coming out of this university region with highly qualified degrees in biosciences, medicine and of course business which is extremely important to us as well. The network of companies and academics in North East is really proactive. We've got several initiatives like the Bionet Network or the Healthcare Network supported by One North East, which creates a forum of discussion, but also of support between uh, businesses and, and technologists and scientists. We already partner with one company in America which saw the advantage of the technologies we were using and the advantage of working with the regional agencies to develop products right across Europe and we've helped them with that. My company, Konastan, will bring new jobs to the region. It will allow global pharmaceutical companies to actually work very closely with us to develop new ways to make better drugs to help people in this region first and then around the world. Avicia is a centre for biotechnology process development and manufacture. North East England's strength in the sector means they have no problem recruiting the processing and manufacturing skills they need. Well, this is a fantastic time for the biotechnology industry at the moment. Um, and that as we unravel more about how human beings work, we're understanding more about disease. People are coming up with lots of ideas for potential treatments. What we do in Avicia is help convert those ideas into real medicines. And we do that by providing real expertise in development and manufacturing. Well, 10 years ago, we were 50 people here. We're now 500 people here, so that's a lot of growth. We will continue to grow and invest in new assets and new people on this site and develop the site. First, you've got an environment that's very supportive for growth through the Regional Development Agency. And secondly, you have a sector which is creating the right people out of its universities, the right sets of skills, and people who want to apply them in a development and manufacturing context. Hartlepool is home to Heart Biologicals, which supplies innovative diagnostic systems to monitor anticoagulant treatments in hospitals and general practice. An exceptional starting package from a variety of business support organizations encourage them to locate there. Other organisations like UK Trade and Investment actively supported them in entering new markets. We've been helped enormously by local agencies such as Business Link, UK Trade and Investment, Hartlepool Borough Council. They've all helped both financially and with finding premises. The recognition of, of the biomedical businesses, again, through the universities, that they have recognised that they need to provide the skills that our sector requires. The history of the North East is heavy engineering, but that is changing. ANL is developing an innovative range of eye tracking products which help in the early stage diagnosis of neurological disorders. Early stage financing from local business support initiatives helped them get the exact premises they needed and working with well-networked organisations in the region has helped develop their business further. The North East is starting to get very good business support networks both uh, locally, nationally and internationally and you'll find uh, a number of organisations in the region willing to help and point you in the right direction. There's the skills that we need, both uh, semi-skilled and skilled workers as well as access to real professionals in design and healthcare services. The Sunderland Eye Infirmary is helping us in, in developing our first product and also testing it and will be a centre for uh, evaluating the product once it's complete. Any line of business now is truly global and uh, in any line of business including healthcare 
the quicker you can sell to the global market, the better. The Northeast has got good links with continental Europe and Asia and America. So we're well positioned here to attack those markets. Northeast England, passionate about business.